Okay. Here we are at the Coil Fang Caper. The normal difficulty we'll do first. For there are some tricky bits to watch in this, unless they've changed the route from the PTR. Um, let's see. This right here, really tricky, okay? Do not try to do that super fast. And then there's another one around, when you swing back around, I think. That'll catch you up. Here. No, nope, not that one. I might just re be remembering it from the advanced version. Maybe it was that bit. I think it was that bit there. So just later than I thought. Okay, now we're almost done. Okay, so, um, not time tight at all, because they want to give you time to work your way around those tricky bits. So, not bad. Let my fingers warm up for a second. At least in the cold office, I don't have to set my wrist on my ice pack as frequently. Okay. We serve once more. So now let's do the Coil Fang Caper Advanced Course. Go with the aspects. right there will catch you if you're not prepared. That definitely was some slowdown there. I might not be able to recover from that. It depends on how time tight this is. I think don't try to skyward that. I don't think the angle is good enough to to get you the speed boost you want from the skyward. Watch that turn. Okay. I've definitely got way too much bigger here. So I need to be a lot more spendy, Aspects especially at the end there. Shine down on you. So this one isn't really a vigor conservation race so much. You're never really starving for it, except a couple places at the beginning. Yeah, see that got me. I'm just going to reset. I'm not the only one with my Isles Ace title on today. Yeah, I knew I was gonna hit that. I think I might need to rest my fingers. I might have been a split second slow on the release on that one. Okay, Weave and Bob. You just gotta zigzag through that bit. There's there's no fast way through it otherwise. In fact, I can't believe that I haven't crashed and burned on that as, as many times as I did the last time. Yeah. 
Yeah, I'm conserving too much. I need to be spending. Ah, oh, my hand's getting tired with all these turns. Can I make it? Maybe. Oh! I was afraid my hand was going to cramp up. That was close. Not the closest I've been. I think I've been way closer than that. We serve once more. Let's give my fingers a second to warm back up again. The last thing I need is a hand cramp. Setting me back an hour. Okay. <clears throat> Until we meet again. Feature. <laughs> Okay, okay. Make that. I think I actually went through part of that architecture, so it might not have any physics to it. It's spendy. Yeah, they give you plenty of vigor for this race. You're never really starved for it. There we go. I mean, it's not a full second under, but it's still respectable. Alright, my fingers are cold again. Okay. I never gave up hope. Let's see if we can do this coil thing, caper, reverse course, before I take a break. Is that a Rudolph transmog? Yeah, so we've got a red nose. That's hilarious. Come on, go. I've never figured out whether the actual race countdown starts when it lets you move or when the timer ends because sometimes it feels like it's let me go super late and I've still timed it. And it does tend to stick a lot. Remember when dodging those magic bubbles that you don't have to hit the center of the ring? Unless you're grabbing a vigor charge, you only really need to clip it. Whoops. 5, 1,000, 6, 1,000, 7, 000. So I lost at least 8 seconds, probably more with the speed drop. But I need to practice anyway, so... Yeah, about eight seconds. Okay. So, the method shouldn't need changing. It's gonna be pretty straightforward, just, you know, don't miss your marks. <laughs> And again, they're giving you way more vigor than you actually need to complete the course. So you can feel free to get a little bit spendy on these straightaways. 
I wouldn't get spendy on the turns. Not with how tight are on these mushroom stalks that they turn you. You know what this one actually reminds me of? This reminds me of the Gilneas race. Whatever it was called. Oh, that's why that mushroom gets me. It's because it doesn't show up until so much later than the other one. That was close. I don't know about that. Yeah. Yeah, that was kind of shaky in the middle. Okay. The waters flow again. Yeah, I don't know. I think it's something about the, the lighting here and like the kinds of turns that it has you do. It's, it's very reminiscent of the Gilneas one. Yeah, this feels much cleaner so far. Just my hand doing a little twitchy stuff last time, I think. Doesn't like being held at a constant position for so long. doesn't turn there. Uh, we'll see whether that cost me the gold. Okay. If that didn't, then that there probably did. And we have a winner. Okay. It still does that thing where the PvP flagged people show red when you're in the... It's really weird. some speed there somewhere? I feel like I'm not going quite as fast as I should be. Bit of a sharp turn there. Yeah, I overturned on that. Maybe could have recovered from the turn. Definitely not from the running into things. Ah, this one's so long. All of these outland ones are so long. Double spending on some of those straightaways to get the most benefit out of it. Yeah. Yeah, those mushrooms would definitely be easier to dodge if you could see them as far ahead as you could see the rings. Okay. Whoa. It's a good thing that those things don't affect you right after you spend. Because that would have tagged me for sure. Yeah. 
I definitely didn't spend enough. I have lived to see them return. I held on to way too much vigor. I could tell that coming in. Okay. <laughs> Um, reverse, yeah. That's what I thought, but all of a sudden my mind went blank. it again almost almost got tagged I don't think I actually went through it this time that one I went through okay even though I still didn't spend as many of them as I could have that was well under so there we have it the coil fang caper 